Hey guys and welcome to the 12th video in our Pygame RPG series. In this video we're going to continue off where we left in the previous one. Okay, so we were implementing level management. So what we did is basically create the level system in a very basic way. But we haven't currently added in enemies yet or buildings. Okay, so in this video we're going to quickly take care of both of them. And this won't be too long. Okay, so I'll come over to level manager. And the first thing I'll do is add in some buildings. Okay. So we can actually achieve this pretty easily. Just do l zero dot add building, okay? Building and what are the parameters? Well, it takes a position. It takes x, y, and a name, right? Let's just open that up. Okay. It takes x, y, and name. So I'll go over here to level manager and I'll pass in an X position which can be 50 I'll pass in what else the Y position can be uh, 200 I may need to adjust that and then I need, I need a name okay so what should it be well let me go over to my images file okay and I want to make a house okay on level 0 it's basically our starting point so I can see this building over here. This looks nice for a house. Okay, building 04. And we'll use this one, which looks like a castle for, um, uh, for what again? Ah, oh, yeah, for our dungeon area, basically. Once we go to the dungeon, we can enter levels. That's kind of what we'll keep it for. Also, we'll implement that functionality later. So, yeah, building 04.png. Okay. And I want to change a few things. I want to basically move this to level 2. Okay. And create a new level, actually. What am I doing? Create level 1. Okay. And in here, I want to add in this kind of stuff. Okay. But instead, Instead of this, I want to add in the other building, okay? And now we have three levels. So I'll go into game and come over here and just create a new hotkey. And we won't create more than three levels until I come up with a way to easily switch between levels, okay? So this is enough for now. Okay, so let's just run this and see what happens. Okay, I don't see our building here. I don't see our building over here. Why not? Okay. Uh huh. Render, render. So, how about this? Let's just remove these. Okay. And because the problem is that currently it's not being rendered. And I know why. Because there's still something we're missing. I should basically go and remove this, okay, and say for data in level manager dot, okay, let me just copy over this format, okay, okay, so for data in level manager dot levels, level dot get manager, okay, sorry, get level, this gives us the current level, and then I'll say data, okay, data dot this render sorry and pass and display okay so this is the benefit of having that data list that i was talking about okay inside the class for level so this basically contains the data for ground and buildings and anything else okay so this is a good way of handling it so i don't need to call uh, the render functions on the buildings individually and on the grounds individually okay and again, this might change later on, but that's all part of programming, okay? Things change. So for now, this is okay. So there we go. There's our building. Okay, that's a problem. It's rendering in front of the player. So I'll take this and put this. Uh -huh. I'll put this right here, okay? right after the background and here we go looks better okay we're now in front of the house okay so let me press 2 now 
okay it's it looks a bit off because we gave it the same position and we shouldn't have done that okay okay and for some reason this wasn't working it wasn't going to level two i don't know why oh okay that explains it i didn't change this to l2 okay and what I, what I need to do to fix that position that building position is come over here and for building one i'm going to position this somewhere towards the end of the window like 500 and 100 on the y or 120 i think that'll fit okay come back here run it switch to level two okay that looks better so this is kind of our dungeon, okay? And later on, once we implement a level selector system, so we can just use this building over here. So it can be like our dungeon. This is our main area. We can then go over to our dungeon over here and battle our enemies, okay? And then there's level three. Level three is a dungeon, basically. It's a level where we can fight enemies, okay? So that's enough of an intro, okay? That's enough of uh, implementing buildings and stuff. Let's go ahead and actually implement the enemies, which is actually the main concept for today's video. Okay, so what I need to do actually is create. Hmm. Well, I want to create a variable here called self dot generated enemies. This is going to track the number of generated enemies in each level. Okay, because I need I need this to basically. Uh, specify how many enemies have been generated okay so what we'll do is basically t look at the level and be like okay we're supposed to generate 10 enemies okay because that's what the level data is okay or for example over here I'm passing in okay I passed in five over there I didn't pass in anything over there okay uh, but basically in level two what happens is that there are five enemies right so the level manager will look at it and be like okay I need to generate five enemies so I'm going to use the generated enemies variable to keep track of that. And once it reaches five, we'll stop the enemy generation. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is create a function called update. Okay. And this function is going to be like if the self dot generated enemies is equal to the um, self dot levels and self.get level because this is the current level okay this is the current level so current level dot enemy count okay so if it's equal to it then i want you to stop the enemy generation okay and this is where i go here and i take this stuff out okay so the stopping for the enemy generation will now be switched over into the level manager okay over here and we'll just change this to self okay and i want to also take out the enemy generation key from here and put it into our level manager so whenever a level is changed i want it to basically um you know start the timer okay for the enemy generation if there is enemies to be ge to generate, that is, okay? Otherwise, it'll just stop right here, okay? And let's do some other things over here. For example, that every time we change the level, set the number of generated enemies to zero, okay? Because we don't want the number of generated enemies to carry over between levels. And I wanted to, to do something else as well. We have the enemy group here, right? What I wanted to do, to do is self.enemygroup.clear. No, sorry, it's called empty. What this does is empties out our enemy group. Okay, it removes all the enemies inside of it. And this is good because if there are like three enemies left and for some reason we swap out of the level to maybe our uh, home level, level zero. So then we don't want the enemies to carry over, right? Or be left over inside the enemy group. So I want to empty it out when changing levels. So let's come over here to game and now if we've done this correctly what should happen is that once we go into level two the enemies should automatically generate and once we kill them the generation should stop and only five enemies should generate and what's going on over here okay i think i know what happened so okay and back to game let's run this again level two 
sorry, level level one or level two, whichever whichever way you want to look at it. If level zero is first, we'll just go that way. Okay, there's level zero, there's level one, then level two. Okay, what's going on over here? I appear to be losing life. Okay, that's a bit disturbing. I think something's weird going on over here with the enemy generation. Okay, let me switch to level three and see if the enemy generates. Okay, he's not. He's generating, I think, but he's not rendering. Okay, so he's kind of, I'm fighting an invisible enemy over here. And that's kind of disturbing. Where am I going to render him? Hmm. Well, how about... He's not being rendered, huh? Well, that's because the level doesn't have the level data. So what I need to do, basically, is say for enemy in uh, level manager dot levels level... Uh, no, sorry, don't need to do that. Enemy group enemy dot render display okay because the enemy is being updated just fine okay which is why we're receiving damage but the enemy isn't being rendered so i believe that's the issue so let's move to level three sorry level two and there's our enemy there he goes okay there we go so now things are working properly only five enemies should generate And they aren't stopping. Okay, I just realized something. We never actually incremented the generated enemies count, you know? So, let me go over here to where enemies were being generated. And level manager dot, um, what is it going to be? Enemy generated enemies plus one. Okay. Hmm. All right, looks good. So let's run this. Level level two. And there go our enemies. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. There shouldn't be any more. Okay, there still are enemies, and this is getting kind of annoying. Why is this happening? I need, to, I need to debug this. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I've just figured it out. Um, I just realized something that I never actually called the update function for the level manager. So I'll come down here, level manager dot update. Okay, and just call this like this. And now let's just run this. Okay, and that's just some debugging code I put there, never mind. Uh, where did I put it? I put it right here. Okay, ignore that. Let's just run this and move over here to level two. And here come our enemies. Okay, dead. Three, four, five. And good, there aren't any more enemies spawning. Okay, and enemies are only spawning on level two. Okay, not on level uh, zero or level one, so that's good. We can easily swap between these levels. Okay, it's pretty cool. So yeah, let's go ahead and create one more level. Okay, I'll come over here. Just copy this over. Create a level three. Okay, and over here, I can do something like a hundred, two hundred, a hundred. No, this can be. Um, 400, this can be 700, uh, or not that much, 200, 600, 200, 300, 200, and 120, okay, and change this to L3, okay, and of course we need to change all this to L3, let's change the number of enemies as well, Okay, from uh, 5 to something like 10. Okay, and what else should we do? Well, that's good enough. I think that we should keep the same number of platforms. Maybe add some more. It's totally up to you, okay? Come back to game over here. Add in a new hotkey. 
okay i might be going a bit slow okay but uh this if you go slow and take things properly explain explaining things properly then i think that's a good approach okay but i do apologize if i'm going a bit slow so yeah here's our thing let's move over to our new one our new okay this is our new level it looks a bit off not exactly very awesome but i think you kind of get the point okay let me just adjust that a bit okay so go over to level manager 200 400 600. why does it look kind of weird change this to 100 maybe okay or just keep it at 200 keep this at 300 keep this at 400 okay and i think the heights were fine okay that, that, that just looks even weirder honestly well you know what never mind but basically uh, you get the point okay we have our level properly set up we have level data okay we have several buildings in here okay and we can just go ahead and create as many levels as we want in whatever format that we want okay we can add in platforms we can add in buildings and you, you know what we could use the same approach to add in objects you could add boxes okay you could add um, other obstacles okay you could add just random stuff onto the maps just so easy you just need to go to the level manager and specify all that stuff okay so yeah that's pretty cool that's literally all you need to do okay so this is what a true level manager looks like okay and we'll maybe expand upon this later on but for now i think this is good in the next video okay i think we'll take a look at the inventory okay I, i'm still thinking about it and uh, other than the inventory what we have up next is the magic system okay so i want to basically be able to cast spells and stuff so there, there are three things currently that are pretty linked to each other there's the uh, inventory system that that i need to display stuff like money and mana potions because that's an item that i want to add and then i need the magic system to actually use that mana and mana potions and then i, I need a shop system to actually buy these mana potions with the money that we earn so these are the three current things that are upcoming and you can expect the next four or five videos to be just about these okay so subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any, anything and you stay up to date with other cool pie game stuff that i continuously have releasing so yeah that's pretty much it and i hope you, to see you guys in a later video